live. All right. Okay. Looks like we're live. Okay. Let me just set us up. Uh, one second. It should be. I have to also mute this. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our show. Today we have the great, great coach Carl Draper here. Uh, he, is, he is uh, super famous for what he does. I remember going to his talk in 2019 at the NAR um, conference. Um, I think it was in um, San Francisco that year. Yeah. I was like, Man, this guy just has a ton of knowledge about video, has a ton of knowledge about how to do things in social media. And I was like, I got to connect with him. I got to talk to him. And today we're lucky enough to have him on our show, and he's just gonna tell us a lot of good stuff. So let's get going. How are you doing today, Bob? Sam? I I'm doing great. I I am honored. Like you, you are so much more popular than me. So I I'm just like, you know, I, I'm honored to just be on the same Zoom call with you right oh, now. Oh, come on, man. All right. Okay. So let's get to this. So let's see. So we've got um, almost uh, about 30 viewers right now. Um, so this is a live YouTube call or YouTube live. Um, please feel free to ask questions. Uh, do as much as um, like interactive questioning of me, Carl, and we will be talking a lot, a lot of stuff um, to basically cover as much as we can. Yeah. All right. So let's get going. So today... We are talking about a few things. The key thing that we both have in common, and that is videos, videos for realtors. So, yep. um, so tell us a little bit about yourself, Carl. So how did you get started? What brought you into this industry? And why do you think video is so important? Yeah, Sam. So gosh, not my, my backstory is I, I was a youth pastor for almost nine years. Then I, I just, for, for a lot of reasons, I moved away from that. I started a roofing company with my dad oh. and my brother and, yeah. and I learned how to sell. I learned marketing. I learned social media as a, as a roofer. And then I, I started a company building websites for realtors with, with a buddy of mine. And it was in that season. This is about six, six, seven years ago. Now I realized that realtors sucked at social media. And so I was a good communicator having preached for 10 years. And so I realized if I could learn social media and regurgitate it to realtors, I'll be way more valuable than just the, the website guy. And, and so I'm accidentally here. I'm not a traditional marketer, right? Like the way some people are truly experts of social media, I really believe like I'm an expert of people and the way we work as humans, the way the brain processes stuff. And I kind of backdoored my way into social media. And, and so the way I coach and teach it is very unique and different than, than just your typical person. And so the, the reason that I believe video is so powerful is for what you and I are doing right now. We don't even live in the same country. What? And yet here we are able to be digital friends, be on YouTube together, talk about stuff, and, and this is as close as we can get to being in person. And so most realtors, all of them are usually confident enough to say, if I can get in the room with somebody, I'm going to win. But what if you never get that chance? Because what you look like online is garbage. And so the power of video is you can get to know me by going to Coach Kyle Draper. And it'll be as if we've been best friends forever because you went and started consuming my video content. That, Sam, to me, is the power of, of what you and I are doing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that, that's a great, great, great way to put it. And I always say that, okay, so you've spent 10 grand on a website, and you think that website is great, but who is visiting that website? Who is right. going to go type in uh, whatever name it is that you picked out, and you think people are just going there because you just happened to spend 10 grand on a website? No, that's right. not you have to you have to create content you have to post content you have to know, uh, like let this fear the, the sphere of people that follow you that look i'm there i'm out there i'm doing this stuff right um, let me educate you let me help you and let me kind of tell you where the market is 
Right. So you can trust me as the person, and then you would want to do business with me. Right? But here's the here's the problem. What you just said isn't the way most realtors treat it. Most realtors treat video like, look at me. Look at how great I am. Why would you not want to work with me? I'm amazing. You said add value. You said help. You said serve. That's not the way most realtors present themselves on camera. It's all about them. My closing, my listing, me, 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 my, my, my. And so if they truly would understand what you just said, which I believe wholeheartedly, if I'd show up on camera to simply educate you on something and do it as your friend, not because I'm trying to get a transaction out of this thing, that to me is truly where the power of this comes from. And you're absolutely right about that. Like a lot of, I've seen this a lot of times, like, let me help like selling your home. Okay, Paul. Like, okay, great. Like this is this is an ad from the nineties, probably. Like keep, right. chat, just keep saying that. Like it's 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 good. Okay, I will get top dollar for you. Sure. Like, but, but what do you know about my market? Like, right. What, like, what is changing the market? What's happening to the market? Right. Why should I trust you as the person that would lead this sometimes multi million dollar deal for me? Right. This, this is probably the biggest transaction of my life. Do I trust you enough? Just right. To, you said, well, well, I'm this great realtor with this many awards and so on. And most realtors, when, when you watch their videos, they're telling the consumer why they should use a realtor, not why they should use them, right? Top dollar. Every good realtor should get top dollar. Fast. Every good realtor should be fast. Efficient. Every good realtor should be efficient. And so you're just giving an infomercial for NAR as opposed to how am I, Kyle Draper, how am I set apart and different? You know, I remember years ago when, when I was young and stupid, and now I'm just old and stupid, but when I was young and stupid, I was even stupider. And I was teaching a class, this is probably seven years ago, and, and I made fun of people. I said, guys, please don't put your dogs in your profile pictures. And, and again, as a young, ignorant person, right, this was, this was what I was saying. Sam, a realtor came up to me at the end of that class, and he said, hey, I just wanted you to know I have three Labradoodles, and they're my cover photo of my Facebook page, and I've sold four houses this year because of those dogs. And I went, I'm an idiot, and I've never again, never again have I ever said, I've never taught that because I had this epiphany of like, that's what sets him apart. He's a realtor who also loves Labradoodles. And if you've got a Labradoodle, instantly you're more inclined to use him yeah. than the realtor down the street that hates dogs. I keep telling H, it's like, if you're hitting the gym, if you're going for a run, take a picture, post yep. it. Let other people, let other athletes, the people that are following you, yep. um, know that you're into this. You're, you're automatically creating that connection. You're automatically creating that um, that that experience, that authentic experience that defines who you are and right. why they should work with you. It, it's, dude, gosh, dude, it's, it, this drives me nuts because this is it, bro. This is what people don't get. This is right here. So this is how psychology works. This is my favorite book of all time for helping realtors understand content. Steal like an artist. Sam, I don't know if you can tell, but my name isn't down there. I did not write, I did not write this book. I get tagged in a post every other day from a realtor from all over the United States that go, thank you, Kyle Draper for recommending this book. I have no idea who they are. I've never met these people, but they'll think about me every time they see this book. Th this is how our brains work. And so people don't think about you if they see a house. We've got to get more intentional than that. And so whether it's the Labradoodles or the CrossFit gym or, or you love baking pies. And so now every time somebody sees an apple pie, they think about Sam. This is how we win in whatever it is that we're trying to sell. It's got to get deeper than just, I'm a realtor. Nobody cares. Yeah, exactly. Right. 
And, and, and I think something else that I, that I constantly see with, with our agents is that they set up Facebook business that they think they've cracked the code now. The next thing they do, which is also idiotic, is create this five minute video about themselves yeah. and how great they are. They, they, they sometimes sit in fancy cars and um, like uh, I have a realtor friend, he actually does like helicopter rides. And oh I'm like, my. Oh. Okay, so five minutes. Do you think someone is actually going to spend five minutes watching you and just doing luxury things? Like, what is it? So, okay, so let's let's attack the first problem. Why is Facebook business dead? Tell me about this. So do you say, why is it dead? I think it's dead because you get like super low impressions on yeah. it. Yeah. You get, you it, get like, unless you pay, you don't get that right. much traction out of so, it. Right? So here's why it's dead. But let me also say, I'm about to tell you why it's dead but I'm also going to tell you it's still important, right? Yeah. Dead doesn't mean unusable. The reason it's dead, guys, is I don't know if y'all knew this. For those of you watching, Facebook isn't a nonprofit. They're very much about profit. They're very much about revenue. And so all of their money, they're a multi-billion dollar company because we give them money to run ads, to boost posts. And so why would they give us for free what they make money on? That's guys, that's like you, the realtor, you're talking to Sam and I, and you want to sell our houses. And we're like, yeah, we'd love for you to sell our house. Will you do it for 0%? Of course not. And so why would we expect Facebook to be any different? So the organic reach on a business page is practically zero, but guys, this is a huge, but it's still necessary because if you're a realtor that did 20 million last year, but when I go to your Facebook page, you have zero reviews. This is what we now call social proof. If social proof doesn't exist, you will lose opportunities. They'll go, there's no way you did 20 million. How could somebody that did 20 million have zero reviews on their Facebook page? So we've got to play the game. We've got to get reviews. We need to have, in my opinion, at least a post there a week so that when we, run, when we want to run ads, we're not doing that to a brand new page that we made three hours ago. That's an excellent point. That's, 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 that's super, super good advice. So basically, post on your page, but don't forget that you, you will not be seen as much unless you run an ad. And if you, if you did run that ad, yeah. Make sure that page is bulletproof. That page, like you got reviews yeah. in there, you got consistent posts in there. And because when I see an ad, I click on the name, right? I want to go to that page and see what else exists there. And if I can very quickly identify this page literally exists so this ad can be run, I'm out. I'm not engaging those people. That's not real to me. And, and again, they could be amazing but they didn't pass the eye test for me. And, and so I think, Sam, we get, we get so caught up in using social media for what it can do for me today instead of, instead of setting the stage for what it can do for me in the future. I'm at a place now, like, bro, it's, it's crazy. Just yesterday, I got asked to speak at two events. This morning, I got asked to speak at two more events. I did nothing. Other than I've created great content for seven years. And so it's seven years later, and I'm just now beginning to see some of the reward, right? Some of the fruit from, the, from my labor. Realtors, man, the, yeah. they can't see past the next transaction. Yeah, yeah, and I've seen this a lot. Like, I see two, two interesting things. So while well, we do this automation for realtors, and, and one, uh, well, aside from the typical mistake that they don't post personal content on their own. Right. Uh, and that's, that's about 20% of what they should be doing. Um, they think they can just leave it to us. That's a classic mistake. Right. They think, I've been running this for two weeks now. Why don't I have results? Well, of course, you're going to be running this for at least a year. Like not a year, right. six months. Like post, educate, like add value. Right. If you start wanting to wanting to get results, like just because you posted one with you, you think you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get a listing out of this? Like, no, it's 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 a long term investment. And, and what it, I what I hate about it is 
the, two weeks in, they're blaming you. Right? You suck. Your ads are terrible. When it's like, no, this isn't, this isn't, th th I'm not a genie. Right? You can't rub me the right way and get the results that you want. This is an ecosystem that ebbs and flows and, and we need good, we need good paid content, right? We also then need some sort of funnel and some sort of conversion system and a CRM. And, and if any part of the process breaks, you get blamed every time. That's what I hate about, about the, the paid ad side of things is it's always, why do your leads suck? It's never, oh, maybe I'm doing a bad job converting. And, and so I hate that for you guys. That's probably why I don't run ads for anybody because I don't want to just have the finger pointed at me all the time like you guys do. But dude, it, most realtors, they, all they care about is making more money. It's not about serving. It's not about giving back. It's not about adding value. They just decided, oh my gosh, in real estate, look how much money I can make per transaction. And they don't understand that, look, like you made this money, you have to reinvest that money. Like you have to, right. like, I think there's a formula, like in the first couple of years, you have to reinvest at least 60% yeah. of what you make within the same funnels, within the, within what worked for you. And you just need to keep doing it. And every realtor is different, right? Like I've seen realtors that are kind of like still into the flyer, like door knocking, old school ways. If, if that's still working for you, keep doing it. Like keep pouring more money into it, and and and, and adopt the new ways. Right, you have to do that. Um, but it's still like dedicate some budget to make sure that you can actually run this. Right. Well, the 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 bottom line is, if you're the realtor that's trying to figure out how to spend less money in marketing, you're going to lose. Yeah. Because the the key should be, holy crap. I've connected with Sam and his team. They're unbelievable at what we at what they do. I sh you should be wanting to spend five times as much to go get five times the results, as opposed to go. Well, I wonder if I could cut back, and then we could get more. It, it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. But they, oh man, I, it's just so frustrating because they're just constantly trying to pick fruit up off the ground and, and they want other people to grow it, right? They want your fruit instead of going, guys, let's, let's plant some seed. Let's water it. Let's let it grow. Let's create good content. So people truly see us as the expert. And then you'll get to a point where you get that snowball up the hill. And now you just reap the, but you just reap the benefits, but it takes a little time. Like you said, you tell a realtor, this could take a year, eh, wrong answer. And they're going to go down the street to the next guy that says, I'll give you leads tomorrow. Yeah. And then, it's and crazy. That's always, it. that's always it. That's always a bad practice. Another key thing that I keep saying is, we'll just come to us. So like, Sam, I want to download 10 videos today. I'm like, first of all, why do you want to download it? Well, we can probably share it for you in the right platform. Second, why do you want 10 videos? They're like, I want to post 10 videos today. I'm like, why? <laughs> Who told you to do that? <laughs> what did your poor audience do to deserve 10 posts? Oh my gosh. And they're like, well, I, I heard you have to do many videos. And I'm like, no, like you're getting it wrong. Like distribute this content for a month and then you get results. But like, yeah. if, you're, if you're, so tell us a little bit about that. Like, how would you distribute content? Like what is yeah. the good distribution of content? So I, I, I think first, we we've got to, we've got to do a couple things. One, I think there's some like baseline content that we should establish out of the gate that then goes on a YouTube channel, go, you know, we could pin it to the business page. We could run an ad to it if we wanted to, but it's, it's, it's these four types of videos. It's your origin story. Who are you? What are you about? Why do you do what you do? Because you're in sales. You could have chose insurance. You could have chose title. You could have chose mortgage. Why'd you choose real estate? That's the origin story video. What's your background, right? People are fascinated that I used to be a pastor because that's not, you don't hear of a lot of social media experts that also used to be a pastor. So, so that's a fascinating part of my story that I want people to know, right? That's the origin story. 
The second and third videos are a buyer video and a seller video that we let live on YouTube. And so the way I explain this, Sam, is imagine you're the realtor. Well, you, you, you are a realtor, right? You don't need, we don't have to imagine that. You do that for a living. So you're going to meet with me on Monday about selling my house. So imagine what are the three to four things that you'd like me to know that'll help Monday go even better. And so that's going to become a permanent video that lives on your YouTube channel. So the moment your team books my call with you, they're going to go, hey, Sam's so excited to meet with you and your family on Monday. Would you mind watching this short video to help y'all's meeting on Monday go even better? Uh, now, bro, I'm watching this video and you're telling me, hey, here's the deal. I might ask you a couple uncomfortable questions. Here's why that matters. Because we need to know some of this stuff prior to us working together. I'm going to give you a few tips about how to be ready to sell your home. I'm going to give you a couple tips like, hey, whether you work with me as your agent or not, here's a couple things that I would make sure are true about your house to help it sell better. So you're giving advice whether you before you even know if you're going to win the job. Sam, what happens is they're going to be 90% sold on you before Monday even gets here. And then... Your origin you story. Have a system, right? Like, it, I, think, I think this is the thing. Like, I keep telling people, if you do not have a system, you are the system. Right. Uh, like, implement systems. Like, even if you don't want to yep. take the time to create that personal video, we have a ton of stellar videos in our library of videos. Go right. use them. Um, just, just put a link, send it to the seller, tell them what it is that you're doing, why right. it's important that they should know these things. Like it could be staging tips. It could be, absolutely. Decline. it could be whatever you think it is. Anything. That defines your brand, right? But do right. something about it. Like do not just show up there with a bunch of souls and think that you're going to be in this listing. And the, the key to what you just said is do something, right? So many realtors don't want to use YouTube because they go, well, I don't know how to tag stuff. I don't know how to do show notes. And so I love to help them understand, like, what if you just looked at YouTube as your video library? It does, you, you don't need to know how to grow YouTube yet. That can come later once you've got content there. Right now, if you're going to make a video for Facebook, put it on YouTube. Like, let it live there so that when you send that buyer video, the third video would be the seller video. The origin story's there. Other videos are there. And so I can go on a deep dive about Sam and his team before we've ever even met. And you're now more likely to win than any of those other agents that are going to show up at that meeting and go, look at how awesome I am. I'm Kyle. I'm amazing. And it's, it has nothing to do with them. It's all about, it's all about themselves. And, and then the, the fourth video is the client testimonial video. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Pick some, right? Not every client, guys, is going to be is going to be the right personality for this. You don't want a super introverted person that's like, "Yeah, you know, Sam was great. He was amazing. You know, his team was cool." No, you want somebody like me that's like, "Guys, if you are thinking about using anyone other than Sam, you are a moron. It was unbelievable. They made everything so simple." Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use them the next time. If you get a few of those videos, you get the right hype people. Now you have the origin story, the buyer seller video, the client testimonials all on YouTube. You're crushing it. You have exactly what you need. And, and so that's, I don't even remember what the original question was. I just got so excited about talking about, uh, about, about, awesome. about those four videos. Because now, guys, instead of going, I don't know what to do, drive people to those videos. Give them out to potential sellers. Give them out to potential buyers. Put one of them in the, in the, in the signature on your email. Right? So that every time you send an email, there's the video that says why I do real estate. Yeah. And now yeah. your origin story even if, follows even you everywhere. Short, even if you're unsure, again, there's a ton of content that we can provide you. Again, there's an email marketing feature that we have that you can use to send content. 
So use right. them, like, but, but do something about it. Like do not just think if you've got this video and it's there and it's going to do magic for you. And, and something else that I, that I, that I even uh, try to tell our agents is this. So they're getting leads, right? So last year we generated about 51,000 leads or so. And wow. when we asked agents what happened with it, a lot of them said, well, I was waiting for them to call me. I'm like, why? <laughs> why do you think a lead will call you? Oh but my God. I the homes and, and, and they, should, they should call me and, and I didn't get calls from them. So they don't work. And I'm like, did you add value to them? Did you tell them something useful about like the transaction? Did you ask them questions? They're like, no, we didn't. So that, like, tell me, like, how would you warm up a lead if you yeah. had the bunch of both leads? How would you do that? So when, whenever a lead comes into me from any source, whether it's a friendly referral or it's online and it's a stranger, I almost always respond with video first. And so these aren't pre, this, this isn't a pre-recorded video because I want people to hear me say their name, mm. right? If it's daytime outside, I, I want it to be daytime outside. If it's raining outside, I want it to be raining outside. I want it to feel like it's real. So I make it real. Wow. And, and so I will do a quick video that's like, what's up, Sam? Thank you for your email. Here, here's the deal. I can't wait to talk to you. You tell me when you're free. I'm doing this right now, but I'll be available at four. I'll be available tomorrow. And then I send it. It's 15 seconds, 20 seconds long. And, and what I want is I want you to first be able to see me so you can see like I'm a normal dude. I want you to hear the energy in my voice. I want you to hear me say your name. Because all of those things, when we study psychology, when we study neuroscience, right, there's all these little things that if we can check these boxes, I'm now more likely for you to become a yes. And, and so that quick, simple video is so easy. How do you do it? How do you send a quick video? Like, are you using bomb bomb or? Just so I, I would prefer to either DM it. Wow. Right? Okay. And we could get into a whole, like we could take this a whole different angle and talk about the algorithm and the power of using DM and how that helps you show up more in their, in their, in their newsfeed. So I, I prefer DM because I don't need your cell phone or your email address to DM you directly, especially if we're talking about Facebook ads. It, I have your account. That's how you got to me. So, so I'm going to send you a DM. The other reason for that, Sam, is my, my personal profile is attached to that DM. So now you can go to my profile and you can see me on date night with my wife. You can see me, you know, practicing my daughter's spelling words for her test at school tomorrow. You can see me traveling and speaking. So very quickly, you're like, I kind of like this guy. He's cool. He's like me. Look at all the hats he has. I wear hats, right? Like whatever it is, video gives us the closest thing to being in person. And so I just record them in my phone. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. And dude, I get messages back from people, no lie, that are like, oh, dude, I run my own business. I never thought about sending video text messages. So now I'm the reason that they're going to go start sending video text messages. That's awesome. It helps that's me awesome. win. So that's the first thing that I would do because I just believe, Sam, that if I can't get you interested in me through video, what else is going to work? My eighth drip? That's not getting you to say yes. If you're not saying yes to a video, I might as well be done with you as a lead, in my opinion. And, and so it instantly kind of cuts the, it trims the fat and helps me get in front of the right people that I can actually convert as opposed to just chasing, which is the way most realtors treat leads. That's, that's, that's really, really good advice. So, I have another question for you here. Okay. I've seen you posting a lot of family photos. Yeah. And, and you appear as, as this family person. So tell me, tell me about the power of those personal uh, pictures, like simple pictures yeah. about your day-to-day -day life. Yeah. So the power of those? I don't even have a family. I just pay those people to be in pictures. No, I'm just kidding. So the, the man, the, like this, they look like you. <laughs> <laughs> So 
Man, this is where I think I'm just different from a marketing perspective than like a traditional marketer. What I believe is true is people know what I do. They know I'm a marketing guy. They know I speak. They know I have a company called Content Compounding. And so if all I do is beat them over the head with that, they want less and less of me. This is the typical realtor. Houses, 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 houses. Closings, 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 closings. I'm a realtor, I'm a realtor, I'm a realtor, I'm a realtor. Who freaking cares? No one. Because we know if I just bought a house, I'm not selling it for five to seven years. So why would your best idea be to keep me interested? I'm going to show you more of what you don't need for the next three to five years. That's horrible marketing advice. So when I can leverage the fact that I'm a dad, the fact that I'm a husband, the, the fact that, that I love sports or, or that I love to go eat at cool places. Now I'm, I'm creating what I call tethers that go deeper than, oh, okay, cool. Sam's a realtor. I'll try to remember that four years from now. And, and so this is the power, but, but see the power even goes beyond what you asked me, because if, if people pay attention, I will use personal settings to talk about business topics, right? I'll be in the car taking my kids to school and I might jump on and give a social media tip. So I'm talking business, but I'm reminding you that I'm a dad. I'm actually a good dad. I'm taking my kids to school, right? And so this to me is the power because what, where we struggle is we get very transactional instead of realizing if we'd be more relational, now we're not just looking for the next transaction, we're looking for the next 10 referrals. And if I can get you as a referral source, I don't ever need your money because your money comes to me one time. I'd rather have 10 of your friends' money. And so, so the, the, the family dynamic is because I wanna create deep rooted relationships with people so that those people give me their people, not just their money. That's awesome. And, and I think that's the game changing mindset with, with social media. I think that's great, great advice. And, and, I, and I keep telling um, my realtors like, look, you can post your listings. And it's yeah. a great idea. It's a validation that you do business. Right. But chances are you're posting this, I don't know, 700K home um, in different markets that looks like it, that, they, that looks like a started home or expensive home. But let's say you're in California, you're posting this $3 million home. That first time home buyer is now scared of you. Like, they're like, well, Carl doesn't touch right. uh, first time home buyers. So instead of posting listings, like post actual content, talk about the market. Like tell us what's happening with the interest rates. Tell us what's happening with the rest of the market. Is and there what about this? farm buyers coming in? Is what, what is what is happening? Tell me. I would be interested to how well elite, like an ad would convert if I I I'm a client of yours and I'm gonna post, you know, I'm gonna run an ad to this new listing. What if the image of that ad was my four-year-old putting the, the sign in the front yard? What if, what if that was the ad? What if that was the ad copy, right? I love that I can be in an industry where I can have a new listing at 123 Main Street and I can bring my four-year-old with me to teach them about business. Now you've got a cute kid in the photo. Your yard sign's right there. So your phone number's there. Your website's there. There's a QR code there. How much better would that convert because of the humanity that you brought to it? As opposed to just being a traditional person and just running a, an ad with the front of the house. Exactly. So. Exactly. And I think, I think the whole point is uh, like listings are great but you got to go beyond them. Like listings are a yeah. good validation that someone else has trusted you. Right. And just souls are also great because they say the same thing, but sometimes they can also send mixed messages out there. Right. So sure. uh, think about actual content. Think about like, what would you look on your social media? How, like, what is your day to day? Like, are you, are you picking your kids from school? Post right. A picture of that. Like, are you hitting the gym? Post a picture of that. You're going to this great game. 
post a picture of that. And, right. and you don't have to do it like I know like Sally, like this other realtor in your office does it great and she's always in social media and she's crushing it. But like, you don't have to do it like that. You don't have to go all the way in. And you don't have to be a superstar influencer. Right. I think like I think I think um, we miss that a lot and we think okay, well, just because I cannot do as much as that person, right. then social media is not for me. So how how would you like how would you comment on that? Well, so so I think yeah, everything you said is is one hundred percent true. And where I want realtors to be better is I don't even think they need to change what they post they need to change the narrative by which they post it. And, and what I mean by this is, so, so let's play out an example. So you, you had a closing today, you took a picture with your clients and, and so you're going to post it naturally and you're busy. So if you don't think about it, your post is going to say, thank you, Mr. And Mrs. Draper for letting me help you buy your home. That's it. When you post that, Sam, you are remembering back to the day you met us. You're remembering back to winning us from four other realtors. You're remembering back to when the deal almost fell through and you had to talk my wife off a ledge. And I called you and was like, bro, good job, dude. She was ready to be done. You saved it. Like you're feeling all these emotions. And so when you take that picture and you post it, you're feeling all this stuff. But for me as the third party consumer, if you don't tell me the full story, all I see is, dang, Sam closed another one. How much money is that dude making right now? And you look like this arrogant turd when I know that you're not. But when we don't tell the narrative, we allow the person seeing it to come up with their own narrative, which is, oh, Sam's just a shallow realtor. And that might not be the case. And so it's not that we don't post closings. We don't post listings. Let's tell stories around what we're posting because stories are what allow people to connect and what make people want to invest in you and be bought into you. And so like, what was it like working with us? What did you help us solve? Right? Like maybe we just found out that I was getting transferred and we had a month and man, your team was able to get it done in three weeks. And so now we can move with peace in our hearts to this new city because of what you were able to accomplish. That's the part that's important. And I think that's what most realtors leave out because they just get busy. And they think, they think well, like, I'll do it later. I'll, I would, I would, um, they would know, but they wouldn't know, right? Like They, they, they wouldn't. Know what knows. And, and I think we've convinced ourselves that that it's success that makes us want to like, that makes people want to work with us. And I just don't think people care, right? They want to work with people they trust and, and have something in common with, as opposed to just, Oh, you won an award. Okay, cool. I'll choose you. I just don't think that's as true as most realtors want, want to think that it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and, and Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld has this bit with, uh, um, like avoid. I don't know if it's if, if, if yeah. it or not. Like it's like avoid is stupid. Like it's uh, they're they're um, they, they are everywhere. But how do we trust people if if they have actually earned that award? And the awards are great validations, and and it would right. it would tell you that okay you've achieved this. But show me why you deserve that award. Tell right. me why it is that you're doing great on social media. Tell me why it is that like uh, you sold so many homes last year. So I think I think we are reaching to the end of this uh, mini uh, kind of success series podcast. Dang it! Uh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for all. Of these course, uh, I've learned so much. I hope uh, I hope our audience has actually learned as well. And uh, yeah, hit us up with questions. Uh, we would love to um, love to help. Um, I think Kyle is everywhere. You can find him. Uh, Coach Kyle Draper is on every social media that you can imagine and uh, attend one of his sessions uh you would you would learn so much um and i can't right. wait to have you on my platform next week awesome yes so everybody tune into that all right thank you guys thanks for watching